Okay, so I gotta ask, how many times have you gone out to your project car? And we'll just leave it at project car, right? Project car. And you turn the key and nothing happened. Oh, it's never happened to you? Then this is not a video for you. But for everybody else who's not a liar, keep watching. We're gonna talk about this really cool little jump starter pack thing. Okay, so, um, being forthcoming, I am trying this out. Top Don has sent this to me to experiment with and see how it works. And like many of you, I have multiple project vehicles and some of them I have on battery tenders and they're fine. Every time I need to go out and do something, I know that the battery, battery's got a charge. It's got the desulfating thing. Those are super cool. Well, this is just such a thing. Uh, it is a 2000 amp jump surge starter and it's got a lot of cool features in it so i've not opened it yet let's dive into it and see what it is like what's all is in here and yeah all right cool check it out it comes in a cool little case i like that that you know for someone like me that's always dealing with messy garage messy tool bench this is a very good thing Let's dive in. So, just put that there. Opening it up. Looks like we've got the actual unit here. Top Don Jump Surge Jump Starter JS2000. And just kind of looking around, there's an input. USB-C input on it. Okay, probably how you charge the thing. And then over here, there's another, oh, there's a, looks like that is a, this is 14 to 16 volt. All right, so there's probably a power adapter that goes into that deal here. We've got these LED lights. And up at the very top, we've got Engine start, output one and output two. So I'm assuming that these are different modes. I'm not gonna hit any buttons just yet until I read the instructions, because I'm one of those people. But it comes with a USB-C. Okay. We do have the instructions. I'll be checking that out in just a second. And here we have the business part. So this obviously plugs into the unit somewhere. Ah, okay. There we go, that's the business end. So this is going to plug in there, which then gives us these things to go to the battery terminals and work their magic. All right, so as soon as I plug that in, I got an indicator light here saying that it's 75% charged. So I'm probably gonna need to go stick this on a charger and let it go to 100% before I mess with it, as most things do tell you. So we've got the uh, QR code right there to be able to look at the instructions and figure it all out. If you are bored and you wanna look at the instructions from home, there you go. There's also a smaller Model, this is a 1200 amp. I got the 2000 amp version. So yeah, we've got the jump start socket. There's a USB type C input for charging. It looks like there's a DC output though. That's interesting. Battery level indicator, uh, another USB output up on top, two USB output up on top. All right, great, good to know. Um, on here, there is a boost button and there's also an indicator light to let me know if it's wired up correctly or if it's got an issue. So there's safety indicators. So if it is solid green here, then uh, it's ready to use. If it is solid red, the polarity is backwards. If it flashes green, then apparently the battery power of the car is too low and you have to hit the boost button to let it charge up your battery for about 
um, in, until it becomes solid green, and then you can start it within 30 seconds. If the indicator doesn't light up at all, then your battery might be totally dead. Uh, so yeah, that's interesting. And if it flashes back and forth between red and green, then it says you have tried four jump starts within 10 minutes, disconnect the clamps and reconnect to try again. So that must be some sort of thermal protection circuit to make sure that you don't melt this thing as you're trying to use it. So first of all, it tells me I need to recharge the jump starter. It says it comes partially charged and it needs to be fully charged prior to use. So yes, we are gonna go plug this in, in my garage and fully charge it before we mess with this thing. So let me, I wonder if I can just hold this. All right, yep. Let's go plug it in, let it charge, and then we will come back and test it. And I have just the vehicle to test it on. So we have it plugged in now and it's about halfway charged. So we're gonna let it charge overnight and then we'll come back and give it a whirl. Okay, this thing is now fully, fully charged, ready to go. So let's give it a try. Our poor Jetta has been sitting for a while and the battery is low. So uh, I was getting the good old clicky, clicky, click when we turn the ignition. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do. All right, we're gonna get you clipped on there. And you clipped on there. Ah, great success, okay. Cool, thumbs up for the uh, top done car charger. All right, nice. So this thing helped with our Jetta, getting it up and running again. That was very, very, very helpful. So if you would like to check out one of these Top Dawn JF2000 jump starters, it officially gets my cliff jumper thumb of approval, thumbs up, because it works. And it's really small, especially since it fits in this tiny little case, so we can keep it in the back of the car. I think this would be great for going to car shows where you might be running your stereo or your accessories for a while with the possibility of running your battery down. So this would definitely be great to get you up and running and keep you going. I'll drop a link in the description so that you can get yourself one of these. And I believe there's a discount code as well. So check that out and make sure you hit like, subscribe and share to my channel if this was helpful to you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> God bless. Bye-bye. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. We'll be back.